Two eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. Hey everyone, the A321 XLR is currently an aircraft being studied by the European plane manufacturer Airbus to slot into the middle of the market sector and rival Boeing's up-and-coming NMA, dubbed to be the 797. With an intended launch of 2020, Boeing currently has no equivalent competition from Airbus. In December of 2018, and really just throughout 2018 in general, reports emerged by Reuters that a launch during the 2019 Paris Air Show could potentially occur, as the aircraft among the 797 is one of the few to receive such an interest from carriers publicly before a launch. The A321 XLR would be used to compete with Boeing and would be different to their already existing A321LR, which has already been completing transatlantic flights. Now it's being reported that Airbus has lined up orders for their new A321 XLR. The niche that Boeing is trying to fill now has meant that Airbus has had to pounce on a market, which in the coming years is expected to thrive and will drive, according to Airbus, the majority of their profits. While Airbus is signing orders tentatively with customers, they would only look to launch the new variant should they be able to acquire roughly 200 to 300 draft orders to get the aircraft going. It's become apparent that interest is certainly there, with the chief executives of a number of airlines across the globe being asked about the aircraft and giving positive feedback. However, total units ordered would be something of interest to many, including myself, to really determine just how much interest is there. It's not a lie though, with every A321 XLR that Airbus one day eventually sells, that's one less Boeing NMA sold by Boeing. If Airbus opts not to launch their XLR, while it may definitely not represent the entire interest for an NMA, it would mean that Boeing would go unrivaled in this sector, and that is something Airbus does not want to have happen. So while we certainly don't have many renderings of a potential A321 XLR, it's worth noting that it will be positioned between the A321 LR and the lowest A330 NEO variant, so essentially an A325 if you will. Airbus believes by holding multiple variants in the middle of the market, it'll give customers more options over Boeing, who are looking at coming in with just two variants of their NMA series, which would seat between 220 and 270 passengers. The A321 XLR is expected to have 400 extra nautical miles in range over the recently released A321 LR, while also having a higher maximum takeoff weight. What are your thoughts on the news of customers signing for the aircraft? Do you have any guesses as to which customers may have signed for the aircraft? And do you ultimately believe that the variant will eventually launch? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. As always, thank you very much for watching this video of mine, and I look forward to every single one of you joining me in the next one. The night, race all of these broken dreams.